Imabuchi was a Nollywood actor who had things going pretty well for him in his career. He was one of the fast rising actors in Nollywood and had acted alongside several notable names in the industry. But sadly, the illustrious career of this young man was brought to an end by a boy he picked from the streets and employed as his PA. His decomposing body was found in his apartment after he was allegedly murdered by this young man who is simply known as Sonny, whom Imabuchi employed as his PA. The body was already rotting by the time it was discovered, which suggested that he had been killed some days before that. The PA Sony was a meat seller at a place called Bonnet Street in Umwa here in Abia State. And according to Imabuchi's close friends, when Imabuchi saw him, he took compassion on the boy and decided to pick him up and change his story. He accommodated the boy, fed him, and gave him everything a boy of his age could ask for. And what did the boy do at the end of the day? He allowed greed to take over him. He plotted to kill Umabuchi because of greed and sheer wickedness. After killing him with an axe, he covered the body with a foam and left it there inside his apartment to rot, then absconded with all his properties down to his clothes. He left with his couch, his television set, his generator, and even tried to make away with his car. But unfortunately for him, the security lock on the car could not allow him to steal it. Bruna, the boy. Buruya. Everything, everything that belongs, even his clothes. Only stealing, only The boy is currently at large, although Imabuchi's close friends and the security operatives have launched a search for him. Police have confirmed that Imabuchi was murdered. They said that there were signs of violence found on his head, which made them suspect that it was a case of murder. However, the police have refrained from linking anyone to the murder. They have not mentioned the name of any suspect yet, since investigations are still ongoing. But they have promised to go after the suspect because anyone who takes the life of another human being cannot go unpunished. Now this is a sad story about a young man who was doing well for himself and decided to give, give a helping hand to another human being, a young man like him. And at the end of the day, his kindness became his own downfall. This has made people to wonder whether it is a crime now to help other people because we have seen stories like this before, if not once or twice. Stories like this are bound everywhere where you pick up people from the street to help them at the end of the day. You, you end up regretting it. And some people did not even live to tell the story, just like the case of Imabuchi. Now, 
Well, some people have said that this shouldn't discourage people from helping other people. But the only thing there is that before you help anyone, before you bring anybody close to your house or your family, make sure you know who they are, where they are coming from, and their history. Or better still, you can help them from a distance. You must not bring them close to where you are living. So tell us what you think. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And subscribe for more stories like this.